Welcome back to the next part of the show, folks. And now we will do the lesson part right over here right now. It is the Unit 3G writing talks about description of a person. All right. So open your books into page number 35. Last night we learned about analysis and we learned a little bit about the uh, structure of a description. Uh, remind you one more time, uh, if you turn to page number 34, it is right next to 35. We have the structure of uh, writing uh, 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 of a description. It is, we have, we have uh, four paragraphs. First one, we, we give that person's age. Also, we give some information about how often do we see him or her. Second paragraph, we describe that person's appearance. Uh, use as many as that, as adjectives as you can. As many adjectives as you can. Um, third paragraph, we have the we we describe that person's personality. Also, more adjectives as much as possible. And the last paragraph, we sum up our feelings about that person we described. Okay. So, we will learn more tonight, and uh, we will learn more, yes, we will learn more. Now, it is the exercise number one, because one more time I remind you that the book on the screen I borrowed from a Russian page, one more time, thank, thank you. Um, so, the uh, Russian course, they learn a different uh, type of learning, uh, I don't mind about that. But we are learning in uh, 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 the English version of Oxford, so let me just read, okay? Read the instruction from the uh, source book, okay? You are going to write a description of someone you admire. It could be someone in your life. Example, it could be a friend or a relative, if you want to, or a famous person. Oh, anyone means anyone. Describe their appearance, their personality, and say why you admire them. Write about 200 words to 250 words. Okay, so you can write uh, this task, the writing. We can write a description, talk about your friend. It can be either it can be your friend or your a uh, relative or means family member or it can be famous figure okay so um decide now take your paper take out your paper blank one so that you can have space to write and blank paper a4 not too much like a1 what do you do a map no so so uh, <coughs> so ah uh, mm. You have to drink after you say something too high. You don't want to get it too high. Right? Clean up your mouth. Do not let the dirty things come out. Okay. Mm -mm. One more time with the tie and everything's fine. Now, decide the person to you're about to describe. Okay, think of that person's in your mind right now. I'll have to... Uh, with your writing, okay? So think of that person. I will example, example. I will think of Teddy. Mr. Teddy? No, it, he's not a real one. Oh, because it is Mr. No, I will write an actual human being. Maybe like my mom, okay? So you can decide who to describe, I decided to write about my mom, I want to describe my mom, so write down my mom, or you can my who, any, a, anyone you want. Now, you have decided, uh, now move to exercise number two. Make notes for the opening paragraph about the person's name. Okay, so, my mom names one, okay, her name, okay, that is her name. So just write her name down. You can write it too. Mrs. Okay, because a little bit middle age. 
Now, person's name. Okay, write it down. How you off? How how you know them? Or when you first heard of them? Okay, because I talked about my mom. So how how do I know her? Ah. Uh, since I were born, okay. Since I was born, okay. <laughs> and when you first heard of her, when I first heard of her, is when I know how to read, how to listen, okay. So mark, write it down, take notes. Also, you do it too. Next one, personal information about them: age, national nationality, prof profession. What are they famous for? Okay, um, age. My mom's age. I cannot give you some information like that. But my mom, uh, I know that from forty. I know her actual age, but I will not give you. Okay, I'll just give you this. She's at about. She's upper than twenty, or upper eighteen. Okay, upper eighteen. Okay. So it can be any number that you want, but not ninety. Okay, ninety down. Okay, fifty-one down. Okay, lower than fifty-one, or it can be fifty, or you can guess. Now, that was her age, nationality. Okay, this country. Okay, you know what? Profession. Ah,、uh, post office. <laughs> post office worker. Mm. What is she famous for? Ah,、uh, she famous. She's famous for her、uh, cooking skills. Oh, she cooks very well. I gotta say. Um. Sometimes I eat. I sometimes I eat. Um. Outside, I think that the taste that she, um the food outside made. Never ever got the same taste as my mom's food because it is like specialty, you know. You cannot, uh, you will not know what is the taste of my when when my mom cooks the food, okay? Because it is the delicious taste. Wow.、Mm -mm. Okay, famous for her cooking skills. Also, her ah、uh, arguing skills. No, okay, I know that much and more. I know more, but I will not tell you all because time. Okay, so that is all for exercise number two. X number three. Make notes for a paragraph describing their physical appearance. Use the words and phrases from the exercise number three on page number thirty-four. So we will move on to the second paragraph. So we have finished for uh, we have finished uh the first paragraph. We have uh chosen out who uh we will describe. And what information、uh, does that person have? So we will move on to the second paragraph. Physical appearance, peer appearance outside, by using the adjectives at the page number thirty-four, right over here. Exercise number three. There are some of the words like bald, cheeked, dark hair, good-looking mustache,、uh, round, scruffy, slim, wavy wrinkles. Um, there and also from the big box right over there, and we will fill in those words into that big box. But some of the words that you didn't know before, so I'll be right back with the next part of the show. I will tell you some of the difficult words. What are they meaning? And we will do it later. Okay, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the next part of the show. Don't go anywhere.